ladies and gentlemen, this is an animated map of the smoke that's coming down from Canada. And it says that the air quality that's worse in the country is in North Carolina and Georgia have the highest concentration of smoke. So it is going to shift around. It is smoke. So it's it's not going to just sit in one spot. And, you know, I saw the air quality alert when I woke up. I always look. I'm now in the habit of looking. So smoke from wildfires in Canada that pushed deep into the United States this week has reached areas in the south, including North Carolina, Georgia, that had escaped the toxic drift before. Now, they were much better off in the south back in june when we first got hit and we got slammed where i am horrific up here so one of the residents of north carolina a 70 year old man northwest um, north carolina mountains wrote in an email to the state scientists the mountains aren't even visible this is the absolute worst since the beginning of the Canadian fire. So we know in June, that's when we got hit with the smoke. I know we did. You could smell it. It literally smelled like, you know, this fire was even in my neighborhood. That's how strong it was. So it enveloped New York and other parts of the East Coast, including Washington, D.C., as far as Minnesota. This month, the plume has is going even further in the country, as you can see from the animated map on the screen. So unhealthy air quality is being reported in Portland, Oregon, Philadelphia, Greensboro, North Carolina, Winston-Salem, North Carolina, New York, Newark, Jersey City, Quebec, Virginia Beach, and Chesapeake, Virginia. They're all reporting unhealthy air quality. Corey Davis, an assistant uh, state, uh, I think this is a person in charge of the air quality, you know, testing it in North Carolina said in an interview on Tuesday that his office had received unsolicited email from Jackson County, a part of the state that was a new territory for the smoke attributed to the Canadian wildfires to linger. So it appears that they said there is a high pressure system parked over the western part of North Carolina. It's like putting a lid on a pot of boiling water. The smoke mainly from the western Canadian fire is basically trapped right at ground level. So around 8 a.m. on Tuesday, more than 44 million people in 28 states in Washington, D.C., continue to be affected by smoke from the fires. And many states in the south are under heat advisories, including parts of Georgia and Tennessee. In Greensboro, a reading of the air quality index was in a range of 152 early Tuesday. In Georgia, the index read at 150 by noon, both unhealthy levels. They said the sky in Riley was a pale orange, completely blanketed. And the western region may be a little bit more worse than we had thought. So the state is under a code orange. We're under a code orange in my state as well, meaning unhealthy air quality for sensitive groups for four days last month. And wow, in Georgia, the smoke infiltrated the skies over uh, communities in Atlanta, along with the broader 
uh, Tennessee area. Tennessee is also being impacted for the first time in Athens. So uh, data was based on the reading of particles that is in the air from seven monitors, five around Atlanta, one in Rossville, one in Athens, all are code orange in air quality, which means unhealthy for sensitive groups. This time we have more locations than the last time. On Tuesday, most of the heavy bands of smoke had been in southern Alabama and Georgia had pushed off even further into the panhandle of Florida. According to Kyle Spangle, a technical lead for air quality measures for Tennessee Department of Environmental Conservation. So, mm, mm, mm. I mean, there is just no way to control this at all. This push of smoke is a little bit higher up in the atmosphere, kind of vertically. And there was also a higher concentration of particle pollution this time around. In South Carolina, sensors have picked up higher levels of concentrations of particles in the air. So a lack of wind flow east of the Appalachian has meant the smoke just sits there and it does not disperse. The weather pattern is perfect for sending it further south. So I guess it's not dissipating as fast as it did the first time around. Man, Canada, y'all gonna have to put these fires out. It is becoming a hazard to everybody. So, all right, so they were trying to also, this was the New York Times, to reach by phone um, to find out more about the air quality in the South. And look like they didn't get a response back. But yeah, this thing is crazy for it to be from Canada all the way down to the panhandle of Florida. That's a lot of smoke coming down here. It really is. Y'all be careful out there, you know, and if you can get an air purifier for your home, get one. It'll be worth your while to get one. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.